hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl on your best and you're welcome to on your best beauty patente b hope you guys are doing fine hope you're doing very very well now in today's video we'll be discussing about limited velocity okay we're also going to be seeing another subject so we're going to be doing two videos or two subjects in one video okay so we are killing um two beds with one stone <laughs> okay so we're seeing limited velocity we also be seeing signals that you can apply to some particular vehicles okay which have a different speed limit from that of the general ones okay we'll be seeing this speed limit that we have in italy okay the general speed limit who it's applied it is applied to and of course those ones that have a different speed limit and where the particular places that this limit are applied like for example Shavana Pishipale, Secondaria and uh, in cases whereby um, it rained or maybe snow or weather condition okay what are we supposed to be going we'll see these things in this video okay so please take your pen take your jotter okay if you're new to my channel you're welcome welcome to this place where we make patent very easy for you okay please follow all these teachings bit by bit. Okay, we have chapters by chapters on the playlist. When you go to playlist, click on chapter one, see everything you want to see on chapter one, click on chapter two, see whatever you want to see on chapter two. Okay, don't jump, don't skip videos because all videos are important, especially when you're just starting out, okay? So let's jump right into this video. Please do not forget to like, share, and of course, give me a thumbs up if you find this video meaningful. All right. Now, the first one on my list here is limited velocity. Mm -hmm. I'll be reading and I'll be explaining to you in English. In Italia, sono viganti il seguinte limiti massimi. I limiti di velocità non sono identici in tutti gli stati d'Europa. Now, in all the Europe, okay, all of them, their maximum limit, their speed limit are not the same. Mm -hmm. It's different. Okay, so in Italy, we have this following split I'm going to be mentioning to you. Okay, but it is not identical, okay, in the European Union. Now, it said, il limite generale valide per motocicli, autovettura. Autovettura con carrello appendice, veicoli fino a 3,5 tonnellate. Sono. Now, the maximum speed limit where they applied to this vehicle I just mentioned, let me say, this particular category of vehicles, this is not the maximum speed limit for them. This is the general limit where they applied for Italia. Mm -hmm. Now, this same general limit goes to this set of people. Number one, motorcycles. Number two, autovettura, which is the car here. Number three, autovettura con carello appendice, which is this one. Hmm, this is autovettura. This is carello appendice. Okay, so you will, we will not just call it... Uh, the reason why we are taking this particular one separate, we are not joining it with that of Rimoki. It is because this one, it is considered an integral part of the vehicle. It means say, when this vehicle, they go to revision, this one, they fall and go. Because for the Cata di Circolazione, they put them, say, not two in one, sort of. Okay, so there are two, now one body. Mm -hmm. Now, so it's there for Cata di Circolazione. So if you go to revision, this one be like in Peking, you will go to revision. Do you understand? So we will not categorize it where you see Remarkio. Because Remarkio have their speed limits, we'll see it. Okay, but this time around, we are looking of the general one first. Who we who they apply to? And number one, I told you they apply to motorcycles. The general speed limit again, they apply to cars. The general speed limit again, they apply to cars. We carry that carrello and pedish. I just showed you this one. Mm -hmm. General speed limit still applies to this one. General speed limit, okay? General speed limit still apply to vehicles. We say at the former load, you know, past 3.5 ton. At the former load, it is no more than 3.5 ton. General speed limit applies to them. Now, what are this general speed limit in Italia? Number one, we have 50 km per hour inside of Centri Habitat, which is inside of the city. We have 50. So the speed limit, you know, if you go more than that, it is 50. Okay? 
attention will get to a point whereby I will tell you if you can go more than that, okay, based on some reasons, not because it is the general. The general speed limit for city is 50. 50 inside of the city. 90 km per hour, Strada is urbana secondary. Now for secondary roads, it's urbana secondary, the maximum speed limit is 90. 90 km per hour. Now we have 110 km per hour per uh, Strada e Sopra Principale. For a Sopra Principale, the maximum speed limit is 110 km per hour. Now we'll go ahead, we'll see Autostrada. For Autostrada, we have 130 km per hour. It means, say, for Autostrada, the maximum speed limit is 130. Now, this speed limit I showed you is general. Now, when they ask you, in Italy, what is speed limit for Italy? These are the ones you mentioned. 50, 90, 110, 130. 50 for city, 90 for secondary roads, 110 for principal roads, which is the principal outside of the city. Then we have Autostrada, the bigger roads, for 130. Basta. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. It says, at alcune category of the vehicle. Si applicano in order i seguenti limiti massimi. Now, for some category of vehicles, we will say they for Italy, then get their own speed limit where they will fit wrong. Now, we've seen the general one, the one we saw previously was the general one, right? Now, for Italy, it gets on particular category of vehicles, then get their speed limit where they will fit wrong. So, I'll be mentioning them one after the other for you. Number one we have here is Machine Agricole. Eh, machina operatrici con fumatici. Now, this na machina we call it. We have that of operatrici. Is it look alike like this particular one? Mm, it looks alike like this. Okay, that's why I don't want to bring two photos to, to come and confuse you. It looks like this, just that the other one is operational machines. This one of a farm, mm, my agricultural machines. All right. Now, their speed limit is 40 km per hour. Have it in mind. Okay, this set of vehicles, agricultural vehicles, operational vehicles, these vehicles now 40 kilometer per hour. Now we have this one, which is Ciclimotore. Ciclimotore is this smaller type of bike. Mm -hmm. We we'll call it ladies' bike. If, you, if I'm to name it, I'll name it ladies' bike, mm -hmm. according to where I come from. Mm -hmm. We see it as ladies' bike. Now, uh, the speed limit for this type of vehicle, now 45 km per hour. Mm -hmm. Now, these vehicles, I repeat, they have their speed limit. Okay, so be careful to memorize the speed limit. Know them. Okay, Ciclimotore, it is 45 km per hour. Now, we have Quadricicli Amotore. Quadricicli Amotore, which is this particular vehicle. It's Speed limit of this particular vehicle, it is 80 km per hour. 80 km per hour. Okay, for quadricicli a motore. Quadricicli a motore. Quadricicli in a vehicle is regular for tire. Mm? But they are not part of auto vehicles. No. They are not part of auto vehicles. No. They are part of motor vehicles. Motor vehicle. Okay, so we have called Chicli, it has four tires. So you don't confuse it with auto vehicle. Don't confuse it with vehicles that falls under auto vehicle. No, it is under motor vehicle. Mm -hmm. Now it is meant to go 80 km per hour. Now again, when we come to this place, we see this particular auto vehicle that is towing a remote. Mm -hmm. 80 km for this type of vehicle when they see themselves for autostrada. So if you know, say you use your car, you the to remark you. Be it this um, caravan or lotus, mm, or remark you. No say, for the strada, when you find yourself like this, you're not supposed to go more than 80 km per hour. So even if you see for the strada, which is the general limit for the strada is 130, but you will not go 130. You will go 80 km per hour as your highest because you're doing a mock here. Okay, so you have that in mind that in Italy we have several speed limits. Okay, for this 
<laughs> different category of vehicle, like I'm mentioning. Okay, we still have the general one that applies to vehicles. Okay. Now, the first one we saw was for the Strada. If you know, say your vehicle, I'm coming back to the same picture. If you know, say your vehicle, they totally mock you. You see yourself for where? Autostrada, go 80 kilometers per hour. If you know, say this same thing, your vehicle, see the totally mock you, you can see yourself for extra urban principal or secondary. Either secondary routes, either principal routes, or that is outside of the city. Okay, either you find yourself for these two roads, it's urban principal, it's urban secondary. What you have to go is 70 km per hour. So if I carry this type of remark, you I see myself for Sobana Secondary or Principal, I'm supposed to go 70 km. If I see myself for Tostrada, I'm supposed to go 80 km. Irrespective of their own general speed limits, don't follow it. Okay, it doesn't apply to you. Now you have your own because you're doing a remark. You. Without the remark, you say not only you carry cardigo, you are supposed to respect the general speed limit, which is Autostrada 130, Estobana Principale 110, Estobana Secondaria 90. But because of this, something has changed. Okay, so we have to go back to what speed limit applies to us now, which is 70 km for these two roads, Secondaria and Principale. Why Autostrada? I will go 80. Now it says, Sulla Strada Urbana, con particolare characteristic. Eh? In presence of the opposite signal, the limit maximum poi essere 70 km per hour. Now, attention, I told you that the maximum speed limit for, to, for Strada Urbana, which is the city, is 50, right? Now, with, for some particular road, whether for city, we get some particular characters, all right? You feel city, they will tell you, say, you feel maximum of 70. So, <laughs> Uh, don't be confused, all right? So if you see him, mm, with the signal telling you you can go 70. So, mm, but without you seeing the signals, in the absence of these signals, what you're supposed to go inside of the city is 50 km per hour. Sulla strada is urbana principale in caso di precipitation. Atmosferiche, come pioggia, come neve. Ok, la velocità massima non puoi superare i 90 km per ora. Now, when you see yourself for a Sobana principale, the general speed limit for a Sobana principale is what again? Mm, let me hear you say. It is what? A 110. <laughs> so it is 110. Ok, 110 km per hour for a Sobana principale. But because there is a weather condition, because it is raining, because it is snowing, mm, in this weather condition, I'm supposed to do what? Moderate la velocity. I'm supposed to do what? Reduce my speed. Even with bone sensor. Mm. But in this case, they're telling us we are at, ought to go 90 km per hour. I'm taking 20 off the general speed limit that applies to a Sobara Pichipani now. So it is 110 initially. And then it is raining. It is snowing. Okay, I'm going to take 20 off the speed limit. I'm left with 90. So I'm respecting 90 km per hour because of weather condition. Mm -hmm. Let's see that of Autostrada. Remember, we took out 20 from a Sobana Peshepale, which was 110. But because of the weather condition, we took out 20. We are left with 90 km per hour. Now, the same thing applies to autostrada. We are going to see it now. It says, Sulla autostrada, in caso di precipitazione atmosferiche, come pioggia, come neve, la velocità massima non può superare i 110 km per hour. We are taking 20 again out from 130, which was the initial speed limit for autostrada. We are taking 20 off it again. We'll be left with 110. So, for you to understand it quickly and quickly, when I tell you, Okay, what if in the case of atmospheric condition, there's rain, there's snow, what are we supposed to go? Then you remember the maximum general speed limit first, remove 20, you'll be left with the answer. Okay, so I'm removing 20 from 130, which is the speed limit for Australia, I'll still be left with 110, which is what I'm supposed to go if it is raining, if it is snowing, okay? Now, another one. Is it slow to strada? A tre cosie per ogni senso di marcia, più la cosia di emergenza. 
gli enti proprietari possono alzare il limite di velocità fino a 150 km per ora, poiché sostituiscono particolari caratteristiche e condizioni di strada. Now, Photostrada, let me not confuse you. The maximum speed limit is 130. If it is raining, remove 20, you'll be left at 110. But for this same autostrada, for road we say, you get three lanes for each sensor the marsha. We use three lanes, they go, other people use three lanes, they come. Minus Cosia de Magenza, meaning say plus uh, Cosia de Magenza will have more lanes, okay? Now, when you see ourselves for this type of road, the fit tell us if you go 150, okay? They can permit us to go 150, depending on how the condition of the road to be, okay? The fit tell us, okay, you can go 150. But mind you, say the general speed limit is 130. This one is the same thing that happens to that of the city. The general speed limit for city is 50. But we can find whereby they will tell us to go 70. It depends on the condition of the road. If the owner of the, owner of the road accepts them, okay? Mm, most times they say, okay, this is too good. Mm? Based on some other factors that um, apply to it as well, they might say, okay, go, go 70 instead of the city. Go 150 for us to auto strata. Mm -hmm. They might add some other limits, other speed limits to it. Okay, but uh, without these additions, okay, if you're not seeing any additions, if you're not seeing anything, what you should have in mind is auto is 130 a basta. Okay, yeah, let's see more. It says, Sulla autostrada, sulla strada e sobana principale, in caso di nebbia fita con visibilità inferiore a 100 metri possono essere imposti limiti massimi temporanei di velocità non superiore a 50 km per ora. Eh sì. Now, I told you initially for that of pioggia, for that of neve, that we have to do what remove 20 speed, out from the speed limit, okay? Now, I forgot to tell you that in the city, you don't have to remove anything. For Estobana Secondaria, you don't have to move anything because it is still 90. Okay, we are talking based on Estobana Principale and Autostrada. Okay, that is where we remove 2020. Now, this time around, it is not Pioja, it is not Neve, but it is Nebia Fita. Nebia Fita is like a dues. That condition whereby everywhere we don't white, you know, they see any, anything. Okay, the place is we don't white. Now, that is Nebia Fita. Is in our place in Nigeria, we call it um, dews, whereby in the morning, dews go through everywhere you will not see. Now, this condition we have it in Italy. In fact, we have the worst, it is more um, grave, mm, sort of. I'm saying it's too much for here. Now, when you see yourself for this type of condition, if you don't say your visibility, they less than 100 meter. It means you know they see clearly. It is a thick one. When it comes thick, mm, you can see less than 100 meter away from you. What you need to do is reduce your speed. Okay, don't go more than 50 km per hour. In fact, according to your visibility, try to reduce your speed. Okay, so don't go more than 50 km per hour. When you see yourself for that thick dues, whereby you cannot see anything, you're just driving, you cannot see less than 100 km away, 100 meter away from you. Okay, reduce your speed limit to 50 km per hour, any place you find yourself, any place you find yourself, okay, your safety first, so not because uh, you feel, okay, in a Zobana Pichipale, it is 110, and I'm seeing a tick, um, Nebia Fita, of course, you're seeing a tick dues, okay, because it is 110, I don't want to cause chaos, so I'm supposed to go 110, because I don't know if the person on my back is giving you telling you to hurry up with his actions or whatever. It's not your business, your safety first. Okay, reduce your speed. Reduce your speed immediately. If you know you're not seeing 100 meters away from you, reduce your speed to 50 km per hour. Now, we have another one here. It say in your patentati. Your patentati, now people will just collect their license. Colloco che abbiano conseguito la patente da meno di tre anni. Now, these people will be said they just collect their license less than three years. Attention, less than three years. If you just collect them hmm, within the range of three years. 
non possono andare oltre i 100 km per ora in autostrada e oltre 90 km per ora su strade sovrana principale. Now, if you find yourself for the category where you you just call your license. Less than three years. It means between one to three years. Now you hold this license. What you need to do, have it in mind that this general speed limit no apply to you. 50 km per hour for city. Yes, it applied to you. 90 km for Sobana Secondaria. Yes, it applied to you. 110, 110 km per hour for Sobana Principale. It no apply to you. What you need to do when you see yourself for a Sobana Principale, you go 90. Instead of 110, you go 90. <laughs> now, when you see yourself for Tostrada, Instead of 130, you will go 100. So now, that means even if I'm just taking my license now between the range of one year to three years, the case whereby it is raining or it is snowing, where I have to remove the 20 kilometer I explained earlier, it's not going to really affect me. I'm still going to maintain my normal speed limit. It never really affects me. So it is when from... Mm, three years, three years upwards, mm, the lean boy, then, of course, I have to remove 20 because this time I don't master. Mm, I've passed the restrictions, restriction age. I've been at a restriction stage whereby I'm restricted to my limit. Mm, then I can remove. But from the first year to third year, just have it in mind. Okay, I'm going 100 in Australia. I'm going 90 in Sobana Pichipale, 90 in Sobana Secondaria. 50 in the city. Mm -hmm. So that is it. It is too much, I know, okay? But if you can cram them, it is easy. I'm telling you, it is very easy. Very easy if you can cram them. I know it's too much, okay? But just mm -hmm. regular, uh, what's it called? Reading or cramming will do it okay if you don't understand start the video back from the, the beginning i believe when you get to this stage again you understand okay i've explained when you see yourself for a sobana secondaria it is 90 for new patent 30 people just call it a license if you see yourself for city now see the same 50 will be the normal one but what changes is a sobana principale and autostrada what changes, okay? It means it says, so instead of 110, will be general, you're going 90. For autostrade, instead of 130, will be general, you're going 100. A bastard. Now, let us see the last one here, which is signal the velocity that applicare I vehicle. Now, this is a signal where you need to apply for vehicle. Not be all vehicles, okay? Vano applicati sulla parte posteriore di alcun Vehicles, so sub vehicles, not all vehicles, and in the car, la velocità massime consentite. Now, this one tells you the maximum velocity where you're allowed to drive for this particular road where you're mm? respectivamente su strada autostrade e su strada principale. Now, respectively, it is referring to autostrada and strada principale. Okay, for any vehicle we see on top. The least or the most, most, not least, the most you can see on such vehicles is two of this sign. Okay, you can either see 80, 100, 80, 60. Mm -hmm. Most is two of this particular signal. Okay, now which type of vehicle go fit carry this signal? Put for him back. Where you go to see this um, signal? So, in case you're driving a car, you know if it really referred to you. Number one, a tutti i veicoli di massa superiore a 3,5 tonnellate sia per trasporto persone e che di cose. Now, for all vehicles, we say their full mass load, okay, it is more than 3.5 ton. At the full mass load, it is more than 3.5 ton. For all vehicles, we say their mass, it is more than 3.5 ton, okay. Both of the transport person, both of the transport things. So like I say, at that particular point, it is more than 3.5 ton. You ought to play this signal, two of it at most, okay, to tell let people know what you be your speed limit for Estobana Pichipale and for Autostrade. Number two, who go fit this particular signal? Again, 
Ai quadricicli a motore, perché hanno dei limiti di velocità particolari diversi da quelli generali. Quadricicli a motore. Now, this particular vehicle, they fix place this particular signal for their back because I told you they have their own different speed limit. I'm going to show you quadricicli a motore again. Look at this signal very well. Look at it again. Look at it again. Then I'm going to take you back to quadricicli a motore. Now, because they have their own speed limit, okay, this is quadricicli a motore. I thought it has four tire, but it is a motor vehicle. All right. Now, this one, if you see, I'm going to place them again for this one back. Being that they have their own speed limit okay if you place them as this day for your 80 60 80 100 whatever case may be <laughs> okay but it will pass two hmm? yeah just to indicate to you hmm? yeah maximum speed limit to the figure now some autobus like i said you fix here for some vehicles okay for some autobus they fit the applier for there to tell you their speed limit Okay, if it's the same for the and the majority of us would not see these particular signals. Okay, just try to go back again from the start of this video if you're not sure of um or everything I've just said. Okay, do your readings, do your quizzes. It's only gonna get better when you keep doing quizzes. I've not been coming online for quizzes because I'm quite busy. I'm schooling, I'm doing all 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 and all. It's not just easy for me at all. Okay, but if I have chance, I will definitely come on live and do those quizzes again. Like I've really missed it, but I have so much going on. I don't want to um, double tax or multi-tax and end up being sick. Okay, so I'm taking my time. Do quizzes, I beg you. Okay. And of course, I will see you in my next video. Do not forget to give me a thumbs up if you love this video. Okay, so you are going to give me more ginger to keep dropping videos. I really love you guys. And I wish you the best in this journey. All right, see you in my next video. Bye-bye.